do you how do you balance that wanting to become a footballer with the other aspects of your childhood, your, your you know your school life, making friends. Um, being a young girl, <laughs> yeah. you can say it, no, it's fine. Um, no, it's, it's definitely tough at times. Like I think we've all been through that stage where our friends are going off and doing what maybe a normal teenage girl would have been doing, going shopping and going to parties, you know, getting dressed up. And whereas, you know, I'm out rolling around in the dirt, you know, <laughs> with a bunch of boys playing a sport yeah. that, you know, People don't know whether I'm going to be able to make a living out of it or not at that time. You know, this is 10 years ago. So um, you just kind of, if, if, you, if you love it, it's not really a question. I, I always found that. Like, yeah. you just love it. And, you know, my parents knew that I loved it. So they were in the car every night, driving me an hour of training and doing what they needed to do. So, but it is tough, definitely, growing up in that yeah. situation. I think it was all about the choices, um, you know, especially at that age when, you know your friends are you know starting to go out and stuff and you have to say no to your friends because I've got training every night and I guess when you look back at it now it was all worth it mm. um, but yeah same choices and then your friends finding friends who understand that as well and I mean I was quite fortunate I had a great group of friends growing up who understood that football was always my number one choice and um, just trying to balance that you know it can be quite difficult for some people but when I look back at it now obviously I made all the right choices to help get me where I always wanted to be kind of brings me on to my next question that those choices will, will tie in with, with the sacrifices you have to make yeah if you're going to be because are there any I'm not going to call them regrets along the way but are, are there any kind of instances or, or situations where you felt like you know it, it's a shame it happened like that so maybe you've, you've lost touch with someone that perhaps you were a good friend with but you, you almost had to because you were yeah. a, a well I think for both of us we both say being away from our families is really hard. Um, you know, we've obviously made a choice to come to a club and a country that can give us the best opportunity to become the best footballers we can be. And for both of us, that means being in a different country to our families. Um, so that's, for me, probably the biggest, biggest one. And not that I regret doing that. And, yeah. you know, they would never want me to feel like that. But that's obviously something that is definitely tough. Um, I'd say that's the big one Yeah, for me. I think my parents always knew it was something that was going to happen if I wanted to further my career in football. And I mean, we both moved out quite at a young age. Mm -hmm. We were both the same age when we first signed for Everton. And we moved in together, yeah. didn't we? And <laughs> those were the days. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> times. That was like, what, five years ago? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's something that, you know, my family always pushed me to, you know, do what I wanted to do. And football was always that. And, you know, as a kid growing up, like, we didn't know if we would ever be able to become full-time professionals and you, we kind of were always just holding out for it to become a possibility and you know all them choices are that we made back then are now worth it whenever we're sitting here and we get to say we are professional footballers. How do you, how do you find that one line? Just stay and then which way? Oh, a cupcake cup. Just <laughs> <laughs> always <laughs> helps. <laughs> and then... No, no, put under the coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to write out, you came over to a different country on the hope that you were going to become professional footballers and that didn't happen in five years, it sounds bizarre. Yeah, like, you know, it's, it's definitely a <laughs> risk, like, you know, like, uh, especially as, as girls, I think, you know. At that time, when most of our friends were either getting jobs or going off to university, which is both fairly stable life yeah. plans, you know, we're doing something which is a bit out of the ordinary. Um, you know, it is, it is, it's a bit odd, but <laughs> like, like I said, going back to the, like, we, we love playing. So it was, you have the opportunity to play at Everton Football Club, which is one of, you know, it's a household club name around the world, and you're not going to turn that down any day of the week. So. No, yeah. I know. And that's why, like, obviously in the background, we both went to university mm. and obviously in, in, we were hoping out that one day it was going to get professional, but whilst it wasn't, that's why we went off to university, got, um, you know, our degrees behind us and our masters. <laughs> <laughs> Simone has a masters, by the way. <laughs> um, do you know, that's why we, all, we went and we, we did all that. And then 
obviously that's that's done, that's behind us now and now we can just focus on football, which is fantastic. You I would imagine you both had to grow up quite quickly when you came over at eighteen. Somewhere in a little slower than some <laughs> <laughs> had to be said. <laughs> well not going down these stories. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um yeah, I guess um, yeah, we did, to be honest. Yeah, it was definitely some tough times. You know, my family's in Australia, which is not exactly down the road. So um, there was, I think we both had some moments where we missed home. And, you know, we, neither of us had really cooked before when we moved into the house. We were learning how to cook and um, all that sort of stuff. And just, you know, it, it was also very exciting to yeah. be like, away from home at 18, you know. I think because we had each other, though, it helped. Yeah. Had it have been just one of us, it maybe we maybe yeah. would have struggled a little bit. But I think because we had each other, yeah. you know, it was it was fun. We were in this yeah. new city, like it was like so much to do. Like we're playing football forever, and like it was one of the best times yeah. of our lives, yeah. really, wasn't I, it? I, I, I do look back on that time as some of the best, yeah. best moments of my life so far. All right, so keep the flow going. So when they start doing a little bit. Oh, that's the moment, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's the best one yet. No, I'm sorry, no, that's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with that, to be fair. That's good, actually. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm taking <laughs> well, like one of those.